You know, over the years, I have owned many DJI drones. And two months ago, I wasn't really on the market for any new drones at all. Matter of fact, I had the Mavic Mini, and of course I had the Mavic Pro 2 right here. And then the DJI announced the Mavic Air 2 is coming out. And then the good friends over at Adorama sent this to me to play around with. And guys, I have to say, I was really impressed. It gives you a perfect blend or a combination of the best of both worlds between these two drones right here. And so, while this will be the last official review or kind of review style video that I've done with this loaner drone, because this one goes back, as soon as I'm done with this video here, this gets packaged back up and it heads back out to Adorama. But, mine arrives on Monday. So, as you're gonna find out here in a moment, yes, this is a really great drone to have in your hands. And again, two months ago, I was not on the market to pick up a new drone. And after flying this for the last two months and putting all these reviews together for you folks, I'm convinced I needed this in my bag. So of course, I picked up one and it arrives on Monday. Now the question is, should you upgrade to the Mavic Air 2? Now a lot of people have been asking me this very specific question. And guys, personally, as I shared with you, I think it's a great upgrade. Now let's find out why. Now if you hang around with me to the end of this video, you'll learn seven reasons why the Mavic Air 2 is a great upgrade. You'll also learn about our new giveaway and what you need to do to enter. But first, guys, we are back. So it is so great to see you. Good evening, good morning, or good afternoon. So with that said and out of the way, friend, pull up a seat and let's go. Now, before we get things going here, you may not be a subscriber to the channel yet. If not, I would personally like to welcome you here. We push out videos on a regular basis on all things relating to photography, gear reviews, and of course, drone related content. Plus, we always have some sort of giveaway going on, so there are a lot of perks to being around here. With that said, please consider hitting the subscribe button down below. It would mean a lot and we'd love to have you part of the community. Now, jumping over to our topic at hand here, friends, I'm going to fly through the reasons why I think an upgrade to the Mavic Air 2 is a great idea. So I won't get into a lot of details about each one of these, but if you want more information about the Mavic Air 2, just check out the description below. I've done several videos on the Mavic Air 2 and we have a ton of articles on this very drone over at Photography Talk as well. Okay, let's kick things off. This drone has much better battery life. Now, one of the first things that you should know about the Mavic Air 2 is that it has vastly improved battery over the original Mavic Air. Now the original can stay in the air for about 20 minutes and the Mavic Air 2 has a battery life that will keep this thing up in the air for 34 minutes. Meanwhile, the Mavic Mini can stay in the air for 30 minutes, so it's not exactly a slouch. But as the Mavic Air 2 is bigger and heavier, it can stay up in the air longer. And granted, it's only a four minute difference, but as you know, every minute counts when you have a bird up in the air. Okay, excellent obstacle avoidance. Now the Mavic Air 2 has all sorts of obstacle avoidance features. Right on the front, you have two front facing sensors. On the back, you have two rear facing sensors. And of course you flip it over on the belly and you have two downward facing sensors. And of course, there's also a downward facing infrared sensor. Now the Mavic Air 2 also features AirSense. This is particularly important if you live in Canada or in the US. AirSense, guys, is a system that will detect other aircraft in the area and give you a warning when the aircraft is nearby. Likewise, the Mavic Air 2 features APES 3.0, which helps avoid obstacles by finding a safe flight path. So, if there's a tree in the drone's flight path, APES 3.0 will map out a route to get the drone safely around the tree. Now, all these systems are great to have to assist 
you am flying, but they aren't foolproof. Nevertheless, since the Mavic Mini doesn't have any of these systems, the Mavic Air 2 is a huge upgrade in the obstacle avoidance department. Okay, number three, upgraded sensor. Now this drone has a half inch quad bear image sensor that takes 12 megapixel photos, whereas the Mavic Mini has a one over 2.3 inch 12 megapixel sensor. However, the Mavic Air 2, you have the option of using the entire 48 megapixel resolution of the sensor to take high resolution images. Guys, that's a big bonus because in post-processing, you can really see the high level color detail and the clarity in the photos. And since the Mavic Air 2 has eight gigabyte of internal storage, you can actually store your photos if you forget your memory card. Well, the Mavic Air Mini doesn't offer that option. What's more, the sensor has full support for HDR photos and video, which gives you greater options to capture a much wider dynamic range in stills and videos with raw shooting capabilities. And in addition to the smart photos, which has features like HDR and scene recognition, guys, it's easier to capture much better, higher quality images with the Mavic Air 2. Yes, it's just a half inch sensor compared to that of the one inch sensor in the Mavic 2 Pro. But if I had to do it all over again and buy just one drone for photography, guys, I'd pick the Mavic Air 2 over the Mavic 2 Pro. The sensor is that good in this thing. Improved video capabilities. Now the Mavic Air 2 can't keep up with the Mavic Pro 2 in terms of video, but it certainly can trump the Mavic Mini from a video capability in every single way. Now the Mavic Air 2, friends, shoots in 4K video while the Mavic Mini shoots in 2.7K. Better still, the Mavic Air 2 shoots 4K at 60p, so you can go into the video file in post-production and slow things down for slow motion effects without getting jumpy video. You can also shoot at 240 frames per second in 1080 if you really wanna slow things down. Now, one of my favorite video features on the Mavic Air 2 is the hyperlapse mode. Friend, this allows you to create incredible time-lapse videos, and this feature is not on the Mavic Mini. So if this is of some interest to you, the Mavic Air 2 is definitely the way to go. Now, I did a complete video tutorial on how to shoot hyperlapse with this drone, so check out the description below to get or actually be able to view that. You also get flat color profile with the Mavic Air 2, which is a big benefit if you want to edit your videos. The bitrate on the Mavic Air 2 is also upgraded. It has a bitrate of 120 megabits per second compared to the 40 megabits per second with the Mavic Mini. Now the higher bitrate will help you capture much more impressive and professional looking footage. Now, another feature I really like about the Mavic Air 2 is that it has a better selection of quick shots than the Mavic Mini. Now, Quick shots just aren't for beginner pilots either. You can use these to easily create beautiful creative effects in your videos, whether you're a newbie or a veteran pilot. And while on the subject right here, guys, see, a lot of times when I'm going out and shooting these videos here for you folks, I'm going out kind of solo. And I use on a very regular basis, one of my drones to shoot my B-roll with me. And often cases, I use these quick shots because it's quick, easy, and again, you, when you combine some of these together, you can get some really cool cinematic approaches in your videos. Now, something else that is easier in the Mavic Air 2 is the intelligent flight modes that have been bundled together, which this means you can quickly activate point of interest, actor track 3.0, spotlight 2.0, and just by clicking and dragging on the screen. Add in the fact that this gimbal will move slightly upward. So if you're flying underneath something, you can fly as you're filming underneath it. And with that said, you have the makings of a very highly capable drone for a shooting video. Number five, better remote. Now the new remote for the Mavic Air 2 is simply awesome. It feels great in your hands as you're operating the drone and the integrated antenna, which means that you don't have to mess around trying to get them pointed in the right direction. It's also way easier to mount your phone to this remote than past DJI remotes even if you have a case on your phone. This remote is also compatible with USB-C, which is a nice upgrade over the micro USB-C connection of previous DJI remotes, because not many devices in 2020 use micro USB. Another reason I like this new remote so much is that you can quickly change the flight speed with the toggle of the switch. 
This means you don't have to touch the screen to change the flight speed. Now combined with the excellent new features on this remote, the Mavic Air 2 also has OcuSync 2.0. This is a great upgrade because sometimes the enhanced Wi-Fi connection can be a little unreliable. But with OcuSync 2.0, the connection between the remote and the drone is much improved, even if there are large obstacles, you know, for example, like a building, between you and the drone. Again, these are significant upgrades over the Mavic Mini, which makes the Mavic Air 2 very attractive. Okay, number six better propellers. One of the complaints that I have with the Mavic Mini is that you have to unscrew the propellers. This means carrying around a screwdriver with me in case I need to remove and replace one of these prompts. But with the Mavic Air 2, you get DJI's twist and lock propellers. So there's no need in carrying around any tools and no need in worrying about losing any tiny screws. Instead, it's a quick smooth motion to remove the props, which is a nice upgrade. Remove and as you can see here, put these on really quick and easy. And that's a great upgrade. Now you need these better propellers also to support the Mavic Air 2's blazing fast speed. This thing tops out right around about 42 miles per hour in sport mode, whereas the Mavic Mini tops out at about 29 miles an hour. So if you're a speed demon, the Mavic Air 2 is also a nice upgrade. All right, number seven, let's talk about great build quality. Now, if you hold the Mavic Mini in one hand and you hold the Mavic 2 Pro in the other hand, you're gonna get a real sense in how much better the build quality is in the Mavic Air 2. Now, I'm not saying the Mini is a piece of junk, it's actually far from that, but you can definitely tell it's DJI's budget drone. And also something to consider when you're feeling or considering the, the build quality of these here. When DJI built this drone, this 249 gram weight here was super important. So obviously you can't put all the bells and whistles inside this thing because then it's gonna go over 249 grams, which of course makes you have to register this thing. So they had to use lighter materials or less materials onto this drone to get it underneath that 249 gram window there. In addition to the better build quality, I like the fact that the Mavic Air 2 is still super small and lightweight. Now obviously this drone isn't as small and lightweight as the Mavic Mini, but it's still, guys look at this here. When it's folded up, we're talking about 7.1 inches long by 3.8 inches wide by 3.3 inches high. So that's pretty stinking awesome. And when it's unfolded, okay guys, look at 9.96 inches long by 7.2 inches wide by 3.3 inches or by three inches high rather. So again, that's pretty stinking awesome. Takeoff weight is 1.25 pounds. And again, compared to the two point, or I'm sorry, the 249 grams here. So it's easily a portable drone. That added size and weight, though it isn't much more than the Mavic Mini, really makes a difference when flying this thing and when it's that much more stable than the Mini. Now I also can appreciate the Mavic 2 has better lighting as well. There's an LED light on the bottom of this thing to assist with landing in the dark and numerous lights around the drone to help you see it when it's flying at night. By contrast, the Mavic Mini just has a single light on the back, so the Mavic Air 2 is the much better choice if you're gonna be doing some nighttime flying. And there you have it, friend. Seven reasons why the Mavic Air 2 is a great upgrade over the Mavic Mini. Now this is just a fantastic drone and honestly, I can't think of a better drone that you can get for under $1,000. And since it's $799, it's way under the $1,000 threshold. Okay, now let's get on to the details of our current giveaways. Here are the prizes that we've got this time around. We have a GoPro Hero 8 Black. We have an H&Y K-Series filter kit that includes a circular polarizer, adapter rings, as well as an ND in there as well. We also have a Wander to Hexad 45 liter duffel bag and a $100 Adorama gift card. Each winner also gets a Octopad. Now, as always, entering the giveaway is super simple. Step one, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the more chances that you have to win. So, get watching some more other videos and leave some comments. Step three, register on Photography Talk and introduce yourself in the forum. Now, if you have registered on the site and introduced yourself already during the last giveaway, you're still eligible to win regardless. So, but still, get over there, say hi, hello, we'd love to see you. Friend, 
that is it. For complete details on the giveaway, including how to register on Photography Talk and how to say hello in the form, check out the description below. Good luck. Well, there you go, friends. That was a lot of fun putting this video here together for you. If you found some value out of it, if you like this video, please hit the like button down below. If you are currently not subscribed to the channel, as I mentioned earlier, we would love to have you part of here. So please consider subscribing to the channel. And last but not least, hit that bell, kick it, smash it, whatever you need to. So therefore you are notified each time that we come out with a new video. Well, with that said, I'm going to put these drones away, get charging some batteries to have some fun. Actually, this one, as I shared with you, is being packaged back up to head back out to Adorama, and mine arrives on Monday. So, my friend, you have yourself a fantastic rest of your weekend. Well, I'm going to jump out of here. You get out there and create your best shot.